All right. But in the end, did it even matter? Oh, back so soon. It took me. I was gone for like an hour, dude. Like literally. Anyway, I called mom. She won't like this. So don't worry, Toby does not make you redo this fight. There's really no reason to. So are the silvers blank, or is it just the solar colors? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Yeah, thanks, Alphys, for the jacking up. Human. It was nice to meet me. And fucking Torio just shoots him in the back with a sneak attack. Oh, that's me, man. How did you get here so fast? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent you. Torio, you had like decades to solve this, and I'm the one that fixes it? I don't know, that says a lot about you. Do not be afraid by trying. I met you for like 30 minutes. I knew you for like an hour. And this is the problem with the story, that it's so compressed. It's so compressed that Tori is just like a flicker. Like, cute, you know? Cute. And daring. If you're weak to it, it's great. But it's not long enough for it to matter. If you play this game flat, it's like, Neh. And at this point, you've probably forgotten she exists. She's on your phone list, but like, nothing happens with her. And I guess I guess that's why Sans brings her up. Sans brings her up in that conversation in the MTT Resort just so that you remember she exists. Because otherwise, people bring her up in like really awkward ways. Because most people don't know her because she left before then. Toriel has been out of the monsters' lives in the ruins ever since most of these people were born. Ugh. I've never heard this song for so long, but it's kind of cool. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Tor. This really just feels like a massive, like, oh, but it's actually someone else, right? Because why would Toriel be here when she's on the other side of the underground? Wait, what? Wait, what? Ho! Oh. Your feet still look weird, Toriel. God, she's not Goat Mom. She's Dragon Mom. Toby was like, oh, it's a dragon. Nobody thinks she's a dragon. She has the ears of a goat. But this, I didn't know the song went this way. Huh. At first, I thought I would, eat, I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have... What changed your mind, really? Because nothing technically changed other than some time, I guess. Anyway, light motifs. Blub, blub, blub. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. I mean, one of them tried to stab me a nearly infinite amount of times, so there's that. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. Yeah, your husband. I mean, I hate him, but... I think... Let me, let me have a sip before I say this. I have a big opinion here. A big hot tick. I think... That Delta Rune's Toriel is designed to show us that the only reason Toriel worked at all in Undertale as a cute character, everyone's like, ah, she's goat mom, is because we see her for like an hour. If we saw her longer, this is what would have happened. It's Delta Rune. And I like that a lot. And I like that Sans is just like some schmuck. Because if Sans isn't this super dimension traveling dude, he's just a fucking guy. <laughs> he's just some jackass. And I like that a lot. I think that Deltarune does a great way of deconstructing, like, these characters were extremely made by their environment. Without that environment, they're other people. And their real character traits, the core of who they are, is what shines through in a way. I don't know, there's a lot to say there. I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let... So I... <laughs> yeah. You, you hate your husband, so you were like, yeah, fuck him. So, for now, let us asp- Can you do that? Like, my, my user interface is still here. Can you make it go away, please? As terrible as he is, he deserves mercy, too. Yeah, he was the one who destroyed that button, by the way. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Please don't be that awkward X. Oh. Glory, you 
came back. Do not torry me, dreamer. You pathetic well- Oh god, she's harsh! I forgot, like, it's just a lot that <laughs> makes her sound like a f Ooh. If you really want to free her kind, you could have done- gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. Yeah, I mentioned that. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Oh, he's so sad! Do we? You're right. I am a miserable creature. A miserable pile of secrets, that is. My bank detail. Oh. <laughs> but do not think we can at least be friends. <laughs> God damn it, he's that guy. <sighs> no, Asgore. My interface! Hey, Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll. I'll, uh. I forgot my spears. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friends? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you too! Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> of course she would know. Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> uh, hey! Uh, nobody hurt each other. Oh, uh. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel, hello. Uh, hi. I saw you in the videotapes of you banging your husband. Is that okay with you? Yeah, this conversation is... Wow. There's two of... <laughs> you should know! You have the tapes. You probably watched them. Or at least, like, just listen to it and we're like, oh. Because I think Tori's the first one to speak. Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll uh, be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Oh, he knows. Of course he wouldn't know he's a Rogar guy. He's a Starman. Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Oh, God. This is such an awkward... <laughs> hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, wait. Yeah. I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. <laughs> the name's Sans. And the uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life. I guess that's why he called her Majesty, because he thought I was clone. It's great! Hey, Papyrus, what does this, what does this skeleton tile is a roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? <laughs> Silly, a skeleton tells us Ruth with <gasps> shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. Nine's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you ha just gotta uh, stop going after furry boss. Mo <laughs> Man, you can't stop people from going after furries. You just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> sends us into this. She's like, yeah. Oh, you two are having a great time. Oh, it's a metaphor. Well, uh, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my God! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up, man! The nerve of that guy. Right, Elphis? Uh, Elphis? No. He's right. Let's do it! <laughs> well, uh, I, g I guess if you want to, then uh, <laughs> don't hold anything back. Flowey, please save me. Oh, wait. Not in front of the human. I'm. I don't know, Escort. She's like. <laughs> oh, Toby, I don't want to know how this went <laughs> development wise. Uh, right, so sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems you must stay here for a while. Uh, can I just kill him anyway? Like, to be honest, the real problem is the bullet point. I guess Sans would at this point get involved, and he's an asshole. Although, actually, the only reason Sans is a problem is because he's super determined to fight your ass, and he's cheating. I imagine that if you fight him normally, he'd just go Bleh! and die instantly. But looking at all these great friends you've made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. I mean, I know nothing about the surface, so... Hey, that reminds me. Uh, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? 
Well, uh, besides, uh, her... Uh, anyway... If I got here before you, how did you know to call everyone? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me! A tiny flower? Thank God, Flowey. I needed this. Oh. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls, uh, and now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> oh, you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spend listening to them. <laughs> Encouraging them, caring about them. I love how they're all like really in a bad spot. They're like, Wah! without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with our souls and the humans is together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? <laughs> Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. And if you win, you won't play with me anymore. And what would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll roll victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then I'll tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back, and I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will be satisfied. That won't happen. You? <laughs> I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh. Fair enough, bucko. Even if it means killing you one million times. Ow! My butt! Oh, my face! My arm! Not my wallet! Don't hit my cell phone, I need that! Go to Twitter! Angrily! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. I got a hit point. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can get past anything. So don't worry. We all with you all the way. <laughs> what, you haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's gonna unlearn you. I mean, he says that because I think he knows that we already did. Oh, Electric! Uh, technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. It's anime! Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Isn't that what he said to Car- Oh, God! Torio, please don't start crying because he brought up your dead son. Everyone is with us, including Monster Kid! And the Swordman, and Ribbit. Where's my Fitbit? Ugh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You, you... I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! I love how the dog is completely unfazed. He's just like, yep, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> 